Hardleg and his friends, they're gonna play a lot of games. It's Legs Play. Ah, good, you remember how to do that. There's also money right there. Good job! You got the money! I'm gonna I'm gonna consider that you're good enough to start. Welcome back to Legs Play! <laughs> Hard Leg Joe here with Aimless James once again. Flying through the air. I playing got boots. more playing more Hollow Knight. And yeah, the stuff I was talking about, there's more of I wasn't talking about that that money I was talking about way over that way. Oh, so go back back. Yeah. Back back with your backpack. You know what I'm saying? And just watch out. Okay, good, you remember there were spikes there. <laughs> Just for such assholery. Yes, we're playing more Hollow Knight, if you couldn't tell. It was probably like the 13th. Yes, up here, which you couldn't get to before the, the wings. The transcendent wings. Ah, oh, watch out, there's pink goop. I killed the pink goop. Uh, one second. I think the audio might be way down. Pause it real quick. Let's... let's... Okay, we're back. That should be a little bit more... There we go. More squishy. Perfect. To give more emphasis to the things of the thing of the thing. Can yeah, you get see, up there? This is important because it's trying to, it's it's trying to teach you how to do certain things, and yeah, that is one of them, like dash and then jump. Use all of your powers, young Padawan. 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 Oop. <laughs> Out of order. Not quite. Yes, you've got, I believe, that's pretty much all the movement abilities except for one, and the last one is, like, the least interesting one. Hey, it's one of your favorites. One of the most trustworthy things that you could possibly trust. Kaslash! I'll never love again. <laughs> In case of demon, baby. Break glass. <laughs> I break class anyway. Shoulda. Whatever. Okay, that's all All that was here. I just didn't want to have, like, later on you have to come all the way fucking back here just to do that. Plus it makes sure that you know a little bit about that. Everything back there is just more where the boss was, so you're good. Unless you want to fight, like, the dream version of the boss, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. Nyet. Like, I'm not even sure if you're going to get the, the true ending or not. I'd rather have the fake ending. <laughs> I prefer the fake ending. It's not a fake ending, it's just a... Shittier one? Yeah. And actually, what you want to do is stay on the bottom and go to the uh, the right all the way. I want to kill him with poops. Oh yes, you're still stinky. You hated the dung defender, and now look at what you've become. <laughs> you defend the dung now. <laughs> it was you all along! I mean, I guess you can go up. I was going to say keep going right. Did we already have the map for here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's that whole part. You had, you couldn't get to it before. Up there. Because you, you need to double jump to be able to reach it. Yeah. And there's all sorts of hidden lore! The palace grounds. Do I need a bow? No. Oh. This is where the palace used to be, but it's not here anymore. There's just that. Fight? You can inspect it. A corpse in white armor. Fighty fight fight time? Try. I don't wanna. <laughs> you can also dream nail it. It's got that dream stuff. It's protected by a shield. Cheating. Even the dreamers don't have shields to protect their dreams. And they're the fucking dreamers! Aha! And What's you that? found the mystery. What is it's it a say? sign. Like a sign sign, or is it just a sign? Like a sign, like those signs. Uh. The hidden station. 300 Geo. Sure. For the rich men amongst you! Do you remember what we were doing now? Why you have so little Geo? Nope. Because the librarian stole it. Oh, that bitch! <laughs> There's also a bench right there. Very useful. We're gonna go murder the bitch. Yes. And now that you have this, you can leave here without having to go all the way back through all that stuff. 
Where am I going? Uh, King's Station. Because I believe you got the key that you need. Yeah, that's. we came down here to get the, the key so you can unlock the door. And I was like, while you're down here, you might as well get the ability to double jump because that's pretty much what you need to get through the rest of this game. And now that we've got the key, you can just find, you, all you gotta do is find where she's at. It was out in the, the main plaza to your left. Yeah, like around there. One of those buildings is like locked and you can only get in with a key. The Haunting City of Tears theme. And those guys... What was it? Someone was saying, like, in the Hunter's Journal, where it talks about all the, uh... It's that one guy's journal where, like... <laughs> it's Amelia! Where he talks about, like... Like, if you kill so many things, you get you unlock, like, him talking about everything. Yeah. And he says those guys are the only thing in Hollow Nest that are a threat to him. Or that are, like, worthy opponents. Aside from, like, bosses and stuff. Huh. Probably because they hit, like, a fucking truck. Yeah, I'll just dodge out of there. Oh, that's not it. Those guys aren't a threat. Fucking Iggy Punk little bastards walking around, swinging their hands, like, to and fro. Is that it? Yeah. Unlock with a simple key? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, hey. Songstress Marissa, a voice to cease all burdens and still all troubled minds. I think if you keep going... Oh, never mind. Now you're trapped. Trapped forever in the world of tomorrow! Or not. Fine, whatever. God. <laughs> Jeez. It just keeps going up, too. Yeah, I think there's uh, some stuff hidden in one of these. But I forget which one it is. Oh, hey, well, there's some money. Everybody likes monies. That's part of the reason why you're coming here, is to get money. Sneaky thing. Oh, hey. What is... Oh, it's just a Wanderer's Journal. Why dream, did he... dream nail that guy. What's he doing back here? Hide. <laughs> Hide. Didn't work very well for him. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately. Just don't get crushed by it. Well, I guess once it goes past you, then you could just jump up the rest of the way if you really wanted to. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I could have sworn there's, there's nothing on the, the right, the, the left. Yeah, there's nothing over there. No? Okay. I was checking. Is this one? Hey, more eggs. thing. More rancid eggs. My favorite. Oh, more. Oh, Boss hey. or oh, ghost. Foggy thorax. Shrink! You look pretty skinny. Very scrawny. That's the way to be, I reckon. Just look at me—a big, juicy, fatty, oily, scrumptious bug. No wonder I'm so popular around here, man. Shaggy. <laughs> I don't know what his deal is. You can dream nail him and you'll get like a whole one essence. Oof. <laughs> he's not a very strong soul. Now he's dead. Yeah, I would just check all. Now he's dead, dead. But no, if you died as a ghost, then you're just dead. Did that guy say anything? Marissa. Obsession. Obsession. Truth. Power. Vigilance. The new scent by Bug. <laughs> oh, hey. This is a big tower. The Pleasure House. Giggity. Ooh, rah rah. I'm assuming that's Marissa. Hey. A city thing. Yep, you could just sit and enjoy. I believe she was a Kickstarter backer. She specifically wanted a bug that would sing. Ah. So they put her ghost here in the Pleasure Palace. Do I murder? Um, let's see what she said. Welcome to my stage, little one. I'm Marissa, songstress of such renown. Though given the sorry state of this place, you may find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing. 
Then something changed. The audience, once so enwrapped, began to leave. I continued to sing, yet my voice fell upon silent ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing? You'd be the first one in an age to hear it. I forget if there's something for, like, listening to her whole song. Maybe don't kill her, just in case there is something. Good idea. But I don't want to sit here for, like, five minutes and listen to the whole thing play out. Maybe the people do. <laughs> I'll pause the thing and fast forward it. Okay. Yep, we heard the whole thing. It's mediocre at best. I give you a C plus. Even if it's only you, it's a wonderful thing to have an audience again. I listened. And you didn't annihilate her for the single essence, which is probably good, because the single essence is like nothing. Unless you're doing a genocide run. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, uh, hello, dearie! Fancy running into you, he Millie Bell the Thief. <laughs> <laughs> Is your uh, Geo you after? Well, you see, it's uh, it's a sad thing, but it's gone, all spent. The cost of running a bank can be high, so I had to charge a somewhat large service fee to your account. <laughs> Perfectly legitimate, of course, just part of the whole banking deal. <laughs> but uh, thank you for visiting me, and run along now, won't you? If you allow me some privacy, I'll be done here soon, and then you can have the spa to yourself. Hello, no hard feelings, okay? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Catharsis! <laughs> so much Geo! Wait, don't knock her out there. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Can you knock her upwards? There we go. Juggling time. <laughs> we may be here a while, folks. <laughs> she stole a lot of money. <laughs> she stole a lot of your money, and you've got to knock it out of her one punch at a time. If only you could get money from actual debtors this way. Then the Mafia would actually make some kind of sense. <laughs> I think you're at like 2,000 of the 4,000 you left with. <laughs> oh my god. What's over here? That's just where you came out. If I fall down there, it'll... I don't know. It's weird. Like, I hit her in against that corner over and over again. And never, like, broke the wall. I think because you have the, uh, the longer nail. And I never, I never, like, really used that all that much. Might as well rest a bit before I start beating the crap out of her again. <laughs> Try a spell on her. Up B. You hit her. Oops. Nope. Oh, no. Doesn't even hit her. She's immune to spells. She truly is some kind of wizard. There we go! Fast track! The fast track to getting all your money back! And more! Yeah, that's the... the despite the fact that uh, I made you go through all that, it actually is worth it again, because not only do you get the, your money back, but she gives you 10% more than what you had. Ah, uh, she's out. Yep. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
So yeah, you would have gotten 4,000. Instead, you got like, I think almost 5,000. Slightly more, maybe. So it works out. It also, if you look at your map, you've now got a, a fast track to here. Hey, it goes all the way up that way. Hop, 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 so what hop, you need to do hop, now hop, that you've hop, got hop, this hop. money, I actually don't think you can go up that way. You have to take the tram at the bottom. Eh. What if I went over here? Um, I think there's a way down. <laughs> we'll just uh take the safe route down. Oh. Yeah, there's that room What's there. Here? But you've never been in there. Ah. I believe you have no map for this area. Are they explody cacaws? Oh yeah. They are the explodiest. Three. Three birds. I read my birds. Everybody knows what the birds are reading. Yep, you can't get through there from this side. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's you gotta come from the other way. Gotcha. Ah. I forgot, I was like, does that lead all the way there? And I'm like, oh wait, no, no, you gotta come. But yeah, if you go up there, that's a pretty fast way to get to the, um... You could just fall, it's fine. But it's so cool. <laughs> but I like to slide. See the puff of poop, slowly. <laughs> Poke me in the ass. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Yeah, that's the pleasure house. But, uh... Fuck. Now I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something about words and rules. You go up from here, and then you can go to the, uh... What was it? There's two places you need to go. There's Salubra, who sells more charms and charm notches. She's to the left, or you could just go to the Stagway and go back to the main village and buy more, like, upgrades and stuff. But you definitely want to. The next boss, your the next two places you're going are going to be, like, the hardest places in the game, essentially. So... I yeah. want more charms, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Lubra's on the other side of the blue lake, if you saw that on your map. Yeah, like, if you go through the blue lake, then there's that area. There's where she is, over by that bench. Ah. I believe these guys are the only two enemies around here, so if you just go past them, you'll be good. You're good, you're good. And then once you get that, you, you have a decision to make, because there's two more watchers, um, or two more sleepers. One is fairly easy. Like, it's fairly easy to get to them, but it's like one of the hardest, most annoying boss fights in the game. Okay. The other one is like no boss fight, but getting there is like the hardest, most annoying area in the game. So you gotta choose whether you want to do the super hard boss fight first or the super hard area first. All the charm notches. So much notch. What is this, Minecraft? Yeah. Well, I gotta get that one. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten that one, so I might as well get that one. Oh. Uh, once you own 18 charms, you need three more. If you bought all three, then you could also get that. Oh, so you have to own a certain amount to get more. Yeah. That's annoying. Okay. They make sure you gotta hunt them down. That, and the shaman stone, and quick focus. A lot of people swear by quick focus. They shouldn't curse. <laughs> um, yeah, you need all of them. But yeah, now you can sit at the bench. Now you've got, like, I think two more spaces that you can add. Yeah. Let's see, increase the amount of soul, increase the damage of spells, but you don't use spells, uh, greatly increase, oh yeah, you could dash more often and downwards, reduce the soul cost of things, quick focus, greatly increases the charging of soul so you can heal faster. Ah, oh, that's pretty nice. Um, while resting, the bearer will gain a coating of lifeblood. So you get like two extra blue hearts. Oh, okay. Whenever That'd be you nice for a boss. You, yeah. The dream shield—that's the thing that floats around you and protects you from damage. Joni's blessing. 
you gain like four hearts, but all of them become blue. So basically, max health, but you can't heal. Hmm. Um, when you're close to death, your strength increases. Longer nail! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you can become overnotch. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Overchar! They can barely fit, but you got it. But yeah, so oh, what's the negative of this? Uh, you take double damage from everything. Mm. Double damage, but long pokey thingy. Yeah, I mean, you could just take off the poop. No, the poop's important. <laughs> the poop's... Well, here, try it, try it with that as well. The spore shroom. What did this do? Um, when you heal, you'll emit a cloud of spores that damages enemies and keeps them from attacking you. And if you've got that with the poop, then the, the field becomes much bigger. Like, there's synergy between the two of them. And it's only one charm notch. Everything else you've got is, like, either the dash master or the, the spells. Or you could take something off and get, like, longer nail. Yeah, so to either synergize with the Defender's Crest, or synergize with the super long nail. I like Pokey Synergize. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot how long that was. It's crazy. Okay, and then you want to go back up to the top. I don't think you can get there. Oh yeah, you can. Don't tell now. me what I can't do. <laughs> back up to Dirt Mouth. You haven't been there in forever. Do you remember how to get there is the question. Follow the dirt. <laughs> Follow the dirt to dirt mouth. Ouch. But seriously, can I like... Just... It's right here. Can I just take it? No, yours is better. But but this one does more damage. No, it doesn't. It sure it does. It disabled a bus. That's all it did. It's got to be good for something. Can I do a wield? <laughs> That would be interesting, for sure. I did that. Yeah. Yeah, go go head up. That's the way you need to go. This way? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see the other. It's dark. And dank. And now you're at the resting grounds. This is where all the dead people are. Yeah. Yay! Well, not all the dead people. Most was, of dead there, people. There was one dead person here. And then that way is the tram. Which you don't have the, a way to activate at the moment. But the other way will lead you to that, the stag station. You can use your crystal thing and just dash through it. No, it's scenic. <laughs> it's scenic. I've got to enjoy. And remember, this was the area where the three watchers showed up and argued about you and you didn't understand it at the time. But like on the second playthrough, all their conversation makes a whole lot of sense. Some of that near crap going on there? I guess, I don't know. I still haven't beaten near. Don't spoil. I need to figure out. But. No, I'm talking about the first near. Uh, not, not Automatopoeia. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, more, more like the Dark Souls lore where it's like, I don't understand what you're talking about with all these people, and then later on you kind of figure things out, and you're like, oh, now I know who they're talking about and why. Uh, it's like a, in the first near, if you once you beat the game the first time, you play through a second time. Enemies that didn't talk at all, like spoke gibberish, Whoa. now you can actually understand them. Ah, so you're like, oh, that's what they were saying. Oh, I'm a dick. <laughs> Don't fight us. We have candy. <laughs> you're like, I'll kill you all. Death to the non-believers and the believers too. <laughs> Why not? Oh no! Oh no! You're lost forever. You'll never get up there now! <laughs> How did such a thing happen? How did this happen? Delicious bacon jerky. Faring well on your adventures below. Well, I had an adventure of my own while you were gone. I don't usually visit the town's graveyard, but I thought I'd go visit the grave and an old friend. As I was walking amongst the tombstones, I noticed a strange kind of chatter coming from somewhere nearby. Extremely sinister chanting! Not sinister. 
I looked around to find the source and saw two bright, horrible, huge eyes staring at me from the door of a dark cave. I pretended I heard the... I pretended I hadn't heard the voice or seen the eyes and scurried back to town. My friend will have to wait a little longer for her visit. Have we dealt with that thing already? Nope. Oh. I don't think so. That was chill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Sprint Master. That just, you just run faster all the time. Speedy um, Gonzalez. Stalwart Shell. Um... More time to recover after taking damage. Yeah, so, more... so that you're more iframes. Longer iframes. I'm just gonna buy all of them anyways, because I'm yeah, gonna need... Heavy blow, that's, uh, you, you, your swings do knock back. Uh. Yeah, you need all of them eventually if you want to get that last charm notch, and you've got so much money, it's like, you might as well. Might as well get Buddies. those two, yeah. One of four. Patamas, Jill. I think that's the third one. You finally got a second. Yeah. Now you can heal so much more. Patamas, Jill. Um, should I bother with getting more? Yeah, go ahead. There's not much else he sells. You've bought everything Salubra has. <laughs> Good point. Patamas, Jill. You're not going to get the, the other, like... The other ones are kind of, like, spread throughout Hollow Nest. You have to search around to find them. Patamas, Jill. Um, actually, how much did that cost? Go back in there. 60. Might as well just buy it, because I think you get something special if you buy everything he has. Patamas, Jill. Okay. Even though you'll probably never Papa use it. Sute. You know I haven't any stock left. Yes, you've cleared me out. <laughs> or were you hoping to sneak a peek at my mountain of Geo? Well, it's mine now and fairly traded. <laughs> Papa Sute. Back again? Yes. Uh, I think you have to come back later. Or maybe you have to do something else. I forget. But now that you've done that, it's unlocked something. Yeah, and that's the direction of the... Um, what about Bafanada? Bafanada. <sighs> Bafanada. Oh, you could buy all her stuff, but it doesn't really give you anything. Not that I know of. What about Obsessive Chick? Um, she's not important until you do two other things. Oh, she's out. Like she's sleeping right there, yeah. And that's just her. It'll be the same thing. She made a little doll of you. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Yeah. Where am I going? Keep going past there to the, uh... Yeah! Oh, hello. Another wielding weapon. I suppose you'll be leaving many a corpse in your wake. Mm -hmm. If you don't spare thought for the dead, at least consider the extra work you force upon those in my profession. <laughs> Absorb soul? Yes. Take that. Okay, there's nothing over here. Found the greatest bitch in... Yep, and that's just GG's. Okay, so actually, now that you're here, maybe that's what you saw. Um, maybe? Two eyes in the darkness. Um, go ahead, go down the the main well, and uh, go to the left. Because you, you've rescued many more babies since last time. Oh, so yeah. So you've got rewards coming to you. It's the infected crossroads. I'm not sure if you remember, it didn't used to look like this. Yeah, and it didn't have a thing that took five hits to kill. And or it exploded explode. after you were done. Yeah, it's almost like the big orange that's in everything's eyes is getting more more powerful. I just love what you've done with the place. I wonder I wonder what caused that to happen. Um nah, I don't know. It was the dreamer. You open the, the black egg a little bit, and this this came out. Oh, rude. Uh, it's like in the background, too, and I couldn't tell. Pop. Everything <laughs> explodes now. Hey, that's a lot of money. 
Grub song. Wah Wee! So much money! Oh hey, and another cool thing. Man, you saved a lot of these. And a rancid egg. Oh boy, another rancid egg. Just what I always needed. <laughs> Remember when there were only like two? <laughs> Man, what is let me look at Grub Song again. Is that the one I think it is? I think that was one of my favorites. Almost filled up the whole top row. Yes, you gain soul when taking damage. So huh. even when you get hit, you get a little bit back to heal you. Like my first run, that was always on because <laughs> that sounds nice. I'm going to be taking damage, so I should have it on. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, I think from there, then it's just, you gotta decide, do you wanna go to the, the, uh, the place that's difficult to get through, or the place that's, uh, the difficult boss? Boss. The diff okay. We gotta go back to the City of Tears, then. Why? Cause that's where it's at. But there's crying there. Kind of. I mean, there's crying everywhere. Uh, did you already jump up that? Nope. Hey. Another seal. Another crest. That's more money. Money in the bank. That's right, a bank full of money. Although now you've bought almost everything. So the only way to get stuff for more money is to get to activate the DLC. Does he say anything different now? Papa Sute. No. Nope. Okay, yeah, you gotta you gotta find the uh Find oh, the Papa Suten. You've got to learn the other nail arts first. How learn? Um, find the nail masters. I think you found one of them. He's the one who gave you the spinny do. Oh, I forget where the other ones are. All right, where am I going? You're going to uh, the City of Tears. That is conveniently located. Uh, where? King <laughs> Station. Oh. King Station and the City Storerooms both pretty much go there. Just one puts you at the bottom and one puts you at the top. I usually choose King Station. It's more like Scenic City of Tears. Boop. Boop. Yep, just go to the left. Just go to the left and keep on lefting. Wait. Nope. Nope, not It looked like you could stand on that. Not quite, my friend. Not quite. Want some bacon jerky? Nah. It's like bacon, but in jerky form. Nah. Yep. Just keep going to the left. Just I'll tell you when to stop. Just keep swimming. Or just explore around. Actually, look at your map. That's where you need to get. How... Go okay. <clears throat> no. <laughs> I'm a Nambi Pambi. Ow! Rude? I'm walking here. Yeah, here. O open your map again. If you look very close, can you see the o the, the slightly open area? Yeah. That, like, below it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he bounces! You you let him hit you! He bounces the off the wall. The Namby Pamby hit you! James, you should feel shame. I thought you beat Dark Souls. I thought I thought you beat Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice with naught but a broken sword. I haven't even played it. Me either. That requires money. Yeah. I don't have that. It requires time, and I don't have that. I have time. I just don't have money. Aha! Yes, you need the double jump to get up here. Now that you have the double jump, you can get up here, and it's full of more Namby Pambies, pambying them their way around the Namby store. There's a thing back there. Yep. There certainly is. Grandpa! Grandpa! Grandpa. <laughs> 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 yeah. Can't get back there. You gotta prove that you got up here with the double jump. <laughs> Even though you had to prove you had double jump to begin with? Oh hey, what's that? 
uh, city benchy thingy. Just not here. I, I believe there's a, actually a way to like cheese your way up there. It's just you can't go any further once you do. Money. Yeah, that bench. That bench is like the place where um. Ah. Oh, well. Now you've got a bit of a challenge. Oof! Big oof. You're trapped. Okay, I tried to trick him, it didn't work. Okay, I've got one hit in front of him, and then when he starts to swing, jump on top of him. Downward strike. You can't you can't double jump. You're getting too reliant on it. It takes too much time. The fuck I can't. <laughs> ah. I jumped and it didn't work. <coughs> You'll if he hits you now you're dead. <laughs> you used to have no problem pogo sticking. Guys, and now you're having trouble with it. It's been a while, okay? <laughs> it's been a while! You tricked. Yeah. I was gonna say, two is not enough. There we go! And then two more spawn up. Door open. Which door? The one, it was right there. <laughs> long, long pokey stick is too much power for him. He can't handle pokey sticks of this magnitude. Oh, did it open that door as well? Looks like it. Hey, pretty neat. Yeah, what was it? it, it it's interesting, like... I've been playing a uh, Dust, an Elysian Tale, on the on the, uh, in the other series. Have you ever played that? Yes. Like it's also a a um, like a, a what's this? What's this? Metroidvania. It's also like a Metroidvania kind of game where you like get powers and it expands like where you can go. But it's like not nearly as fun. And I'm like, why is it that? I was trying to pin down, like, why is it that this is so much more fun than, than Nier? And it's like, all the powers you get here, like, make the game more fun. Like, shooting beams gives you more options in combat. The downwards, like, beam, like, yes, it unlocks, like, floor-based things, but it also gives you, like, a combat power and a moving power. You know what I mean? Sort of. Where it's like, in, in in Dust, you get the ability to, like, power slide, and that's useless except it lets you get into, like, low, low areas. Like, all the powers you get don't actually, like, make you more powerful. They just, like, oh, they, they're just, like, glorified keys, essentially. It's kind of like, you know, and... <laughs> I guess I'll just go over his head. Yeah. It's kind of like in Zelda where, you know, like there, there's like, oh, the hook shot. The hook shot's great because it allows you to reach new areas, but it's also really fun to use. And then there's like in in uh, finally open that door. That goes back to another place you Oh yeah, I remember before. this. Yep. It's like but then it's like in Twilight Princess, they have that item where it's like a little gear that you ride on. That thing was fun. Eh. I mean, the thing about it, like it was neat, but you could only use it in like five areas in the whole game. <laughs> like, it wasn't super fun because it was basically like a glorified key that unlocked a new area of the map. It made that one boss fight fun. Yeah. It also, anytime you're on an incline, you could just hop on it and ride the hill down. Why is there always one of you next to him? Because fighting him by himself isn't hard enough. Excuse you. Ex excuse me! I'm walking over here. 
<laughs> I'm trying to beat a hollow knight, and this guy's fucking being an asshole. Yep, and they locked it. They're like, nah, you can't get through here, not until you fight this guy. This asshole. Oh, you got three whole move. Ah! Okay, I'll just... I'm stuck! That was weird. I got stuck <laughs> inside of him, I couldn't move. I was part of him for a moment. We were like brothers, only closer. Yeah, that is another... You can jump on top of him and then he'll attack upwards and then you get a good slash at him normally. <laughs> okay, fuck with his AI. Just barely yeah. move out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tempting face. Mis misjudged. <laughs> I did I get a lot of hits in. I miscalculated. It's okay. I got a bunch of hits in. Yeah. There we go. I parried both attacks from his butt. Double parry. Just call me Katie Perry. Yay. Hey, you better be okay. More rewards for the rewarding. I like how there's only been one of those, but it's ruined. I think you can go left there. I have trust issues, okay? <laughs> Just keep attacking in that direction. I've been lied to. It seems so weird that they would put that. Can you jump in there? Huh. That's weird. That's weird, man. I don't like it. Oh, yeah, you can go left here. Okay. Just a hop, skip, and a jump, and a skip, and a hop, and a jump, skip, jump away. Oh yeah, and if you'd gone here first, then you could see where they... Oh wait, okay. Stop. Next time on Legs Play... Uh oh. James versus the Watcher Knight. The what? The Watcher Knight. Comments in the comments, if you comment in the comments. Comments in the comments, if you comment in the comments. If you like these guys.